fidgety fish. Tiddler was always fidgeting. He wriggled and he squiggled. He darted and giggled until his mom got fed up with him. Go out into the sea and swim to your tire. But watch out for the big fish. So Tiddler swam out of his cave. He dived and he flipped. He leaped and he dipped. He sped faster than a rocket and glided gently like a swan, letting the sea currents fan his fins. But he still couldn't feel tired. The sea was full of the most interesting things. There were limpets that clunk and jellyfish that stung. There was a big, big starfish that didn't do much at all. Hello, said Tiddler, nudging the starfish gently with his nose. The starfish didn't answer. It didn't even move. A crab s saddled by, clicking and clacking its big claws. Tiddler wanted to play with it, but the crab scuttled off and disappeared into the seaweed. Tiddler came to a big dark cave. It looked much more exciting than his cave back home. And Tiddler swam in. Snap! Everything was dark. Tiddler was trapped inside the big fish. He trembled and shivered. And he shook and he quivered. Until the big fish's tummy began to feel very funny indeed. It rumbled and grumbled. It turned and it tumbled. It fluttered and groaned and mumbled and moaned. Suddenly, the big fish burped and burp. Whoosh! Out shot Tiddler. He shot past the jellyfish and the clickety crab hiding in the weeds, past the starfish and straight through his own front door. I hope you've used up energy. But she would, ha she would have to wait until morning to hear about his adventures because Tiddler was already fast asleep.